Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Natalie and I do videos on handbag reviews, unboxings, a bit of luxury eye candy. So if you're into any of those, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back for more videos. So I've got a really exciting video for you guys today. The item is in this baggie here. So a nice red Cartier bag. This has been an item on my wish list for so many years. I've just never been able to pull the trigger on it just because of the hefty price tag. But I have heard rumors from the Purse Forum. So if you guys haven't heard of the Purse Forum, I'd highly recommend checking them out. It's just like an online platform where people post questions and post their experiences and opinions on particular luxury items. So if you're wanting to do some research on a particular handbag or jewelry piece or whatever it may be, I'd highly recommend checking it out because I can guarantee you that someone's already asked that question or someone's already talked about it or someone's already provided their opinion on it so check it out if you want to do a bit of homework before plunging in and getting an item but yeah so I heard on the purse forum and also a few people on Instagram say that Cartier are due for a price increase in September which is only a few days away so I figured because I've been wanting this item for so many years it's already gone through a couple of price increases since I first wanted it so I thought if I'm not going to get it now, I'm just going to have to pay extra after the price increase. So I have to just get it now and bite the bullet. So I did, and I'm so glad I did. So it's not a true unboxing because I did order it about a week ago and it came from FedEx yesterday. So I already unboxed it just to try it on and see how it fit on my wrist because I did order it online and obviously you can't try it on. So I do want to make sure it fits. So yeah, the package came from FedEx yesterday and it came in this large brown box so it's just an ordinary box but it had like a security tag on it so I'll insert a photo for you but I've never received anything like this I've ordered things from Louis Vuitton online before and it's never come with a security tag I guess maybe because I haven't ordered anything as expensive as this online I was so scared to cut the cable off because I was scared it was gonna beep but I cut it off and everything was fine so that was a bit scary but exciting at the same time so when I opened that box I was presented with this white box right here so just a plain white box nothing to it and it just had like a little rip tab here so I ripped that off and then when I opened this up I was presented with this gorgeous packaging so I've got the nice gold foil Cartier there at the top and then all this nice tissue paper so if you can see that it's all this little tissue paper padding and the item was just sitting in this hole right here and with the bag and everything and also when i did get the item it was wrapped up perfectly in this cartier gift wrap paper so i saved it all just because it's so pretty like look at that pleating on it so i haven't purchased anything from the online store before the only thing i have from cartier is this love band it's like the love wedding band so not the love ring not the thicker version this is the thinner one and I purchased this in the boutique and they didn't wrap it up for me just because I guess it wasn't a gift but when you're ordering online they're not sure if it's a gift or not so I guess that's why they just wrap it up so I had this gorgeous pleating here and also the iconic wax seal so it's got the Cartier logo there so it also came with the shopping bag so i guess if you were to purchase it in store you'd get this bag so that's nice they've included it so it also came with a documents folder so it's got the cartier logo at the bottom and also some embossed symbols at the top there so you just flip it open and inside there's a whole bunch of things so we just take that all out so the first thing it came with is this nice red velvet travel pouch so it's got two snap button closures there so you just snap it open and inside we've got the Cartier logo at the top and also this really soft cream colored microfiber lining and then inside we've got two slip pockets at the back so I guess you can put rings or earrings at the back and then like a bracelet in the middle here so that's like a really nice touch I didn't get anything no travel pouch with my the ring that I purchased so this is really nice to have. It also came with the certificate of authenticity so I'm sure you know what collection it's from now but even the certificate of authenticity is presented really nicely it's like this nice textured hard case cover 
it's got Cartier there and also at the back. So when you open it up, you've just got the serial number and the date of purchase. And it just looks like that. So very nice. Always hold on to your certificate of authenticity. So just in case if you did ever want to sell it down the track or just to prove that it's authentic, always hold on to this. It's very important. It also came with a little thank you note from Cartier and also just the tax invoice. So that was really nice having that all presented in that folder. So the last thing in this bag here is the main event. So we've got the Cartier box with the item in it. So we've got the Cartier logo at the front and also it's the same kind of textured hardcover as the certificate of authenticity. So even the box just feels so luxurious. Like if you've ever felt a Cartier box, you know what I mean? But yeah, so it's just got a lid like so, you just lift it up. And the presentation of Cartier is just immaculate. Like look at that gold foil detailing at the top there. It's just so gorgeous. So all you do is just pull down one of the sides here and the jewelry box just slides down like so. And then you're presented with this gorgeous, iconic Cartier box. Look how gorgeous that is. Like this is just something you want to display or keep out in the open just to look at. It just makes me happy. So just at the front here, we've got the press stud closure. So all you do is just push it and the lid will pop up like so. So in here, I've got the love bracelet in the thin small version in the 18 karat yellow gold. So just to match my ring. So my ring's also in the 18 karat yellow gold. And look how gorgeous that is. It's so shiny and new. And inside we've just got the Cartier logo, like a nice cushion top. And it's just held in place with this tab. And we've got the iconic screwdriver that comes with it to take on and off the bracelet. So I believe the screwdriver is only gold plated, so it's not made out of 18 karat gold. It's just gold plated and always comes in the color of the bracelet that you choose. So I know that this bracelet comes in the rose gold and also a white gold and all 18 carats. Um, that's the same with the normal love bracelet too. And it comes with diamonds and no diamonds. And the one I've got here is the no diamonds. So I figured for my first Cartier bracelet, I wanted to go with the very simple, very classic no diamond look. I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll just take that tab off, just flip it up and then you can take the bracelet off. So look at how gorgeous this is. So it's got all the love symbols all around it. And so with the thinner version, it's only got the one screw and the other side's a hinge. Whereas with the love bracelet, I believe there's two screws on either side of the bracelet and it completely comes apart. So with this bracelet, you'll know where the screw is because it is slightly raised. I don't know if you can see that there. So all you need to do is get the screwdriver. So there's a little trick I've learned from a few YouTubers and also reading on the purse forum. Um, with the screwdriver, because I've heard a lot of horror stories where people try and uh, screw the bracelet on and they accidentally slip or they're not careful and it kind of slips and scratches the side of the bracelet. So I don't want that happening. So what I've got here is just ordinary scotch tape. So all you need to do is just take a bit of scotch tape and just put it over the top of the screwdriver just to cover it so that it kind of protects it adds like a little protected layer on top so if you were to slip it's not like metal against metal so it's not going to scratch as easily so all you need to do now so with this one with the screw you'll see that it's actually pointing vertically whereas all the other symbols are horizontal like the line in the middle is horizontal so if it's pointing vertically you know that it's unlocked so all you could do now is just pull it apart like so and see how it's connected together whereas with the love bracelet you will completely take the two parts so you'd have two pieces so this is connected by a hinge right there so this makes it a lot easier to put on yourself so what I'll do I'll just put it on for you and show you 
So all you do, put it around your wrist and clip it in place. So you hear a click, like so. And then with the screwdriver with my scotch tape on it, you line it up with the screw mechanism right there where the bracelet closed. You line it up and all you do is just turn it a quarter of a turn like so and it kind of clicks you probably didn't hear that but it just clicked and then you know that your bracelet is secured in place because now it's horizontal so it lines up with all the other symbols here so the line is horizontal rather than vertical so now the bracelet's not coming off so that's how you know it's secure in place and that's just how it looks on me I love how dainty it looks like it just matches it's similar with to the love wedding band so i think that matches really really nicely so i think this one here measures 3.65 millimeters in width whereas the normal love bracelet measures 6.1 millimeters in width so this is just over half the size of the normal love bracelet so i think this is really nice on its own or if you wanted to stack it with other bracelets i think it's just like a really nice dainty feminine version of the love bracelet so i've got a few pros and cons of this bracelet the first being the price tag for this one. So this is a lot cheaper than the normal love bracelet. I think about over two and a half thousand cheaper than the normal love bracelet. That's a huge jump for a very similar looking bracelet. Another pro is that it's a lot easier to take on and take off yourself. So you don't need anyone to help you. If you felt like just taking it off, you can just do it yourself or putting it back on, you could just do it yourself. So I like that feature that you don't have to rely on anyone. Another pro for me, in my opinion, is that it's a lot more daintier. It's a lot more feminine. So I like that look of it. But I guess it's each their own. That's a pro for me. So one of the cons would be that it's not the original, traditional, iconic love bracelet. It's a more modern version. So I guess that can be seen as a con. It's not the traditional one. Another con may be that it's a bit too thin for some people, so it may get lost on their wrist or it may not suit their wrist, so that could be another con. So I would always highly recommend going in store if you can to try it out. I did try on the Love bracelet a couple years back when I first was looking at them, and I felt that the Love bracelet was a bit too thick on my wrists, just because I do like daintier pieces, so that's why I've gone with the love bracelet in the thin size. So another con with the bracelet, but I guess with the whole love collection in general, is that it will get scratched up really easily and that's just because of the way it's made. It's just that smooth, flat surface. And I did notice that with my love ring, like within the first two days of wearing it, I already noticed a lot of scratches all around it because it's quite flat and when you grab things or put your hand down or reach into your bag, it just gets kind of scratched up a little bit. It's only like hairline scratches, so it's not too bad it's still really shiny but i guess comparing it directly with the love bracelet you can see it's kind of like lost its shine a tad bit it's still really shiny in person but i guess this is brand new so it's really really shiny and i knew that going into it and i'm completely fine with having hairline scratches all over it i guess over time cartier do offer a complete cleaning service so you can take it in store and they would completely clean and get rid of all this or majority of the scratches for you but i would only recommend doing that maybe once every like five to ten years just because when they do that it does take a slight thin layer of gold off the bracelet just to kind of get it really polished and clean so if it's only got hairline scratches i wouldn't worry too much about it so a way to reduce scratching up the bracelet is to wear it on your less dominant hand so I'm actually right-handed so I've put it on my left hand so that way I'm not using my left hand as much and there's less chance of it getting scratched or dinged up on other things. Yeah I'm really happy I finally got this item I'm so glad to finally tick it off my wish list and not have to worry about paying the extra price increase amount so if you guys are eyeing a Cartier piece I would highly recommend purchasing something as soon as possible I don't know when exactly the price increase will be, but I did hear in September it, and I did hear some people say September 1st. So get in there quick. Please let me know if you are planning on getting anything before the price increase 
or if you have already purchased something i'd love to hear what you've purchased or what you're planning to purchase but that's all for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i have a whole bunch of other videos planned coming soon so don't miss out on those and i'll see you in my next video bye